Hi and welcome back. This is Rick from Excel Gorilla. And in this video, I will show you how to extract data from the web by using an example. And in this video, we're going to be using a website called bulb.com. It's a Dutch website that contains, it's similar to Amazon basically. And what you see on the current page that we're looking at is a page containing all the thrillers that are selling really well. And as you can see, it contains all kinds of books, titles, and years. Now, what if I would want to make uh, an overview in Power BI containing the book titles, containing the authors, and for example, containing the, uh, well, the prices of the books. Let's see how we can do that. So if we get to Power BI, uh, I'm in the query editor. So if you go to new source from web, here you get to fill in the URL. So I already copied the URL here, control C, and I will paste it right there. Now Power BI will connect to the website. This might take just a little bit. Now, in the old school way, you will connect to a document like this. And if you do that, this is gonna be the result. So you're gonna have a query with a table and this table will have a lot of children. Now, if you would want to find the information that you're looking for, you could start out by clicking on the table and you're going to have to find where is my right data. So it's probably going to be in the body. You're going to click ahead and you're going to have to find the right table again. Maybe it's in the script table. And basically it's a very difficult way to find your data. Now with the new web experience, they are developing this right now, but it already does a very good job at finding your data easily. So let's make a new query from web. I paste in the website that I just copied. And we're going to use the new way now to scrape the data from the internet. And to get to this new way, there is a there is a button on the bottom of the screen which says add table using examples. That's what we're going to be using. And the idea is that the web page will be loaded, just like here. You can also zoom out by scrolling uh, using control and scroll or just you using your laptop touchpad and basically it will show you examples of what data you can get now the first result I have is the president is missing and the second one is origin now this this feature from Power BI makes it very easy for me to get the right data check this out I want to have the author right here to get the author in the first cell, I just start writing Bill Clinton and James Patterson. Oh. Sorry, Bill Clinton, James Patterson. I press enter and I press enter again. Then we're going to go to the next author, Dan Brown. And I don't need to have the page numbers there. I'm assuming this is either page numbers or amount of reviews. So I'm going to select the first one with the arrows and I press enter. And I press enter once more. And as you see, it already suggests what the next step will be. And in this case, The Outsider is written by Stephen King. That's the next title. And after that, you find Dan Brown with Origin. So Power Query does a really good job at recognizing what information you want to scrape from the web. Now let's see if we can do the same for the book title book title. So the first title is the president is missing. I select it, press enter, and I press enter again. And the second book it already suggests is Origin, The Outsider, Origin, the American edition, Origin, the Robert Langdon book number five. So if I scroll all the way down, you see that the last title is called American Gods. And when I scroll down on this screen, I also see that the last title is called American Gods. Now oh, that's great. Now, if I also want to know when my books came out, let's put the year behind it as well. And just as easily we get year and I write 2018. Select the first one with the arrows, press enter, press enter again. And here you see it, Power Query already recognizes what information you need. So we have 2018 for the second one, 2018 for the third option and 2017 
or the fourth option. All right there. Now if you feel this is the information as you want it, you just click OK. And this is the table that you need. You will click OK again. And as you see, it is imported nicely into Power Query. Now, we have a few changes here where, for example, there were two authors right here. So it isn't perfect. But there's all kinds of tricks that you can use to fix that. That goes too far for this video, but at least I now showed you how to use the new Scrape from Web functionality in Power Query. Now, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to see all the other videos. And I thank you for watching.